What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can probably tell, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. I'm gonna be doing the full shebang, hair, skin, makeup and outfit and I'm going to be doing a fall version of this because it is fall and I changed my makeup routine a little bit in the fall like different colors and I also have been doing my hair a little bit more differently than I usually do so I wanted to update you guys on my updated get ready with me routine so I just took a shower and usually what I like to do is I like to let my hair air dry for about 30 minutes because I have really thick hair and if I just like started blow drying it right after I got out of the shower it would take forever for it to dry so that's kind of why it's a little bit dry now. So I'm about to do my hair. And before I do that, I'm gonna do my skincare routine really quickly. If you guys are regular viewers of me, you know that my skincare routine changes all the time because I'm always buying new products. So this routine's a little bit different than previous ones. For eye cream, I'm going to be using Pharmacy's Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. It's the Cheer Up one. I actually missed a step. I usually start off with Saturday Skin's Dewy Mist. I like to put this on when my face is dry and clean before I start my full skincare routine and it just gives your face that extra moisturizing. And then I'm gonna take the Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum and I'm gonna just put that all over my face. And this says that you should put this on when your skin is still damp right before your creams. So since my skin is damp from the refreshing spray, just put two little drops on each cheek and then we're gonna rub that in gently. Next, I'm going to be mixing a few different serums and creams and gels. So I'm going to be taking Row Dial's Dragon Blood Sculpting Gel. This really helps plump your skin, make it look full and refreshed. And I'm gonna be mixing that in with Kate Somerville's Bow Making Peptides Serum. Get a drop of the serum. And we're gonna rub that in. Then for moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors. And then I'm gonna take a couple drops of the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid for extra moisture. So for my hair, I already sprayed on my Pravana Intense Therapy. This helps detangle my hair right after I get out of the shower. And so now I'm going to be using my Fenola 10 Action Spray. This just helps repair your hair, make it feel nice and smooth. And then I'm also gonna be taking their serum. And I focus these on the ends of my hair because the ends of my hair are kind of more damaged. So I'll do the spray first and then the serum. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna use the Tresemme Heat Protectant. I've been using this stuff for like 10 years and it's always been a favorite of mine. So what I've been doing to my hair a lot lately is I've been using this Revlon comb blow dryer. It gives me such a nice blowout and I've always been terrible at blowouts. I could never do the whole comb hair dryer thing. I've been so terrible at it. So if you're bad at blowouts, this is such a good tool because now my hair is so bouncy, very straight. It looks really silky. And another product that helps with that look is the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. So this is activated by heat. It helps get rid of frizziness of all of the damaged hair. It makes your hair look so silky and smooth. And it gives you kind of like that keratin treatment look. So I'm gonna section my hair off into, I usually do three sections and my hair is really thick so I have to do it in different parts. Spray on the dream coat. And then when I blow dry it, I always do it inwards. Every single layer I do inwards. And then with my bangs, you'll see later, but I always do my bangs outwards to give it like that flyaway look. So yeah, just, I'm gonna do it inwards for the whole entire head. <laughs>
so here is my hair after I blow blew it out and I'm going to be like hiding or setting in my baby hairs and just like the top with this pomade it's an edge hold stay gel and I use like an old toothbrush and use that to kind of just put back the baby hairs also like here my sideburns I usually always have like a lot of hair going down there I have so much baby hair and then just a little bit on the top so now we're gonna go head over to my glam room and do my makeup so we're gonna start off with priming my face I'm using my milk hydro primer it is honestly the best primer I have ever used my face looks so good like my foundation looks so smooth it doesn't look cakey and my makeup lasts all a day. For foundation, I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty's foundation. This is another favorite of mine. Mine is in the color 240. And since this dries matte really, really fast, I only do one section of my face at a time. So I'll start off with putting a few dabs on my left cheek. And it's a very lightweight foundation, so you can build it up as much as you want. I don't like a heavy coverage, so I just usually do one layer of, of this foundation sometimes i'll do two i just used one layer of foundation now i'm gonna use concealer i use my nars radiant concealer in the color custard and use my beauty blender to blend i pretty much use my beauty blender for everything that's like liquid on my face i just feel like it blends way better than brushes and then i'm gonna set my concealer and my t-zone with charlotte tilbury's airbrush flawless finish powder i use this in the color medium and for this one i'll use a brush i got these brushes from amazon like a long time ago and i've been using them for a while they're really good brushes next i'm gonna go in with my tarte creamy bronzer to contour my cheekbones this is the breezy cream bronzer in the color seashells and i'm using the brush that i bought with it my temple a little bit then on my jawline and I like to put a bit, little bit on my chin to kind of shape it up a little bit and then I'll go in and blend the line out a little bit more and I always brush up I'm gonna deepen the contour and bronze a little bit more with the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer I'm just gonna take a flat brush this one is from morphe then I'm gonna contour my nose and I use the Fenty beauty stick or the Fenty match stick in the color mocha use the stick to get a more precise line and then to blend that in I always use the Tarte brush the one same one I used for my cheeks for blush I'm going to be using my cover FX duo it's a blush duo there's a shimmer and a matte color I never use the shimmer I always use this matte color right here and it's super pigmented and you really don't need that much because it's very it's a very deep color just on the apples of my cheeks a little bit for highlighter i'm going to be using this new palette i just got from revolution makeup london and i got this in the glossy box advent calendar and they come with the most gorgeous shades it's a quad and we have a couple of like champagne bronzy colors like a gold and a white color very pretty so I think I'll use this light pink pinkish champagne color <gasps> oh that's so pigmented okay I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented because this is the first time I'm using this I was not expecting that but like oh my god it's so nice wow that is a crazy glow all right now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I use my brow wiz from Anastasia mine is the color ebony Then I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow gel to set my brows in. For my eyes, I'm going to be using the iconic London 
Day to Slay palette. This is another thing I got in Glossy Box's Advent Calendar. It's a good mix of some pinks, peaches, bronzes, and golds, some mattes, some shimmer ones, so a good variety. And I like to keep my eyeshadows very neutral and just kind of like golden toned, brown toned. So I'm gonna be using this taupe color right here. I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid up in the crease and kind of just like an all over color. I'm very simple with my eyeshadow looks. I don't do too much glitter, too much bold colors. That's just not really my vibe. I like the very neutral and natural colors because that kind of just makes my eyes stand out more. And then with a defining brush, I'm going to take this dark brown color. It is called Deep Soul. I'll do that on my outer edges. And then I'm going to take this copper color called copper me fancy i'll put that all over my lid oh that's gorgeous i love that color i'm going to be putting some of that darker brown color that i put in my outer eyelid i'm going to put a little bit of that on my lower lash line to deepen my eyes up a little bit I'm gonna take a blending brush. I'm gonna use this kind of neutral color. It's called Ultimate Tan. I'm gonna just kind of go all over my eyes with that. Blend it all in together. And for my inner tear duct, I'm gonna take this champagne color up here called Champagne Chic. And then for my brow bone, I like to use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. And I use the shade Fire Crystal, which I definitely have gotten my use out of. I just put on a lipstick shade that I did not like, so that's why my lips look like this right now. So I'm going to line my lips with the Kylie and Balmain lip liner. It was part of their, um, what do you call it, that collection. But first, I need to put on some lip moisturizer. I use the Hemp's. CBD lip conditioner. It is so moisturizing. Then for lipstick, I'm going to be using Rare Beauty's lip cream. This is in the color So Fearless, or it's just called Fearless, but it is the softest stuff. It is not drying at all, but it does look matte and it stays on all day. It is such a good formula. Here's the final makeup look. I love this look for fall. I just feel like it's very fallish, the lip color and the eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part. And now I'm gonna get dressed. I'll show you what I'm gonna wear today. So today's actually Saturday and I'm getting ready to go to brunch with my girlfriends. So I'll show you guys my brunch outfit. I'm gonna be wearing a top and jeans and I just got this top from Zara. I'm so obsessed with it. It's like an off the shoulder top, long sleeved, and it has these little spaghetti straps that are kind of like a halter style. So we're gonna wear that. And then with that, I'm gonna wear my new jeans that I just got from Pretty Little Thing. These are like a mom, what do you call it? A mom jean style. I got these in size 10 because I like baggy jeans for mom jeans. And then the side has these like slits. Where are they? Yes, so that's what. Those jeans look like, and then for shoes, I'm gonna wear a pair of heels that I also got from Pretty Little Thing, and it's these really cute side-strapped heel. I love it so much. I feel like it reminds me of the 90s a lot, and they're really comfortable. I think the heel may, might be four inches, but it's really padded and very secure. I like how tight the strap is, so it's very comfortable to walk in. So here is my outfit. Here's the shirt. It's so cute. I really love the style of the halter neck, and it's a nice little cropped top and then the jeans are my favorite they're so big they're so mom jeanish so cute and then here is my bag from princess polly i think it goes very nicely with the outfit and then i'm wearing my sunglasses from amazon kind of 90s look i feel like so yeah there is my outfit gonna go to brunch now the lighting is crazy inside my office room right now because it's super sunny but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me fall edition let me know if you guys like these type of videos i'll definitely do more of them because i'm always getting ready so i might as well film them right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video hey, hey.